admission to the athletic training program, I knew my life at Boise State would change dramatically. I was now attending classes, studying, and working 20 to 40 hours in the athletic training room in a variety of clinical settings where I was able to actually apply what I was learning in classes. At Boise State, there are opportunities for students to interact with the professors thanks to the small class size and uh, low student to faculty ratio. Uh, all of the professors that I had always welcomed the student to talk to them and ask them questions. And I can just walk into any faculty office and ask them any question and they, they're, they're always happy to answer with a great enthusiasm. I love the location, opportunities, and resources, and the campus community Boise State has to offer. In my four years, I have been able to travel to three bowl games with the football team, as, you know, with the marching band, and represented the university at five music conferences across the Northwest um, as either a performer or a collegiate participant. I participated in university organizations like the Student Nurses Association and the Sustainability Club, where I helped mow the lawn of the community garden and placed 10,000 bees on the roof of the sub to make bronco honey. Both the nursing and Spanish programs helped me define some important goals of mine. And to sum it up, it's learn more and help others. Increase understanding of other people and problems and to do something about it. Seeing young children and elderly suffering and even dying from simple disease like common cold inspired me to be an element of change for my people. This inspired me to come to Boise State with a dream of becoming a physician so that I can not only serve the people of my country, but all the people around the world who are in the desperate need of medical care. Boise State raised my awareness of the magic that computer science has to offer, and I would like to pass that knowledge on to others. I will be returning to La Bamba, Swaziland for 10 months to conduct ethnographic research on neighborhood care points and the women who run them. Neighborhood care points are local, volunteer-based facilities run largely by women, which provide safety, one meal per day, and non-formal education to over 33,000 orphan and vulnerable children. The women who run these care points are full-time volunteers who have created a massive, incredible, informal mothering network, despite the fact that they are faced with the same crises that has created such an astounding population of children in need of care. As a Fulbright Fellow, it is my hope that I will be able to shed light on these organizations and the awe-inspiring stories of the women who have dedicated their lives to protecting the children of Swaziland. Upon graduation, I will continue on with my dream of becoming a physician and entering a medical school so I can finally start a welfare clinic near my village in Afghanistan. I still use science, evidence-based practice, and my protocol nursing skills with my patients but I now can also empathize, care, and both mentally and physically be there for those patients that need me. Thank you, and I hope to see some of you having adventures in the future. Stay motivated and continuously achieve. Pasa fuera.